Hello friends, now let's solve the longest line of a consecutive one in matrix. The statement is, given a 0-1 matrix M, find the longest line of a consecutive one in the matrix. The line could be horizontal, vertical, diagonal, and anti-diagonal. So see that this example. We can find that the longest consecutive one is this line, so the result should be 3. How to solve this problem? Basically, uh, I think it is obvious that we should use dynamic programming because uh, say we are at this place then we have four directions which is the horizontal we can use its previous um, longest consider one plus one and the vertical we can use the previous row the same column the Longest considered one plus one, and this is the diagonal, the same idea. And this is the anti diagonal. And every time we update the current uh, uh, value, we uh, will compare the result uh, and the current value so we can get the maximum consecutive one. The time complexity should be all m times n, m is the rows, the number of rows, n is the number of the columns. Uh, one point we need to pay attention to is that uh, usually when we use a DP, the size should be rows plus one and the columns plus one. But in this case, you see, when we are at here, we should compare the previous column. And uh, when we are at uh, this place, we should, uh, when we compare the anti-diagonal, we should uh, have the value of the next column. So basically, we have two more columns in the DP array. So let's do it. Each case check if the n equal to null or m dot length equal to zero, we just return zero. And then we get the number of rows, which is the number length, and the columns, which is m0 dot length. We will use a DP array. It should be 3D. Uh, and the first uh, dimension is the rows plus 1. Because even when we add the last row, we only need the previous row. And when we add the first row, we need uh, its previous row. So it should be rows plus 1. And the columns, as I said, we need uh, two more. And uh, the third dimension should be 4, because we have 4 direction to compare. And by default, the value is 0. And then we need a result. And at first, it equal to 0. Then we just iterate this uh, m's array. i less, oh sorry, start from 0. i less than rows i plus plus and 4 in the j equal to 0. j less than columns j plus plus. If the m i j equal to 1. We will first uh, update the current place. Uh, zero, we use the 0 to represent the horizontal line. It will be previous, it previous, the same row, but uh, the column should be, uh, column should be uh, less, one, less than 1, 0 plus 1. And we will update the result equal to the max result and the dpi plus 1, j plus 1, and 0. This is the horizontal line, and the vertical line it should be dp. It's a current, uh, current place. 1 should be the dp. The, the row should be less than 1, so it should be i, the same column j plus 1. And, uh, this is the one dimension plus 1. Result will equal to mass as result dp i plus 1 j plus 1 plus uh, one dimension. Okay. So then we will consider the diagonal uh, j plus 1 2 will equal to dp. So if uh, you see the current uh, index is ij so the previous 
place in the horizontal line should be m minus one, j minus one. So in this case, the previous point should be i, j, and the two plus one. We have did this result will be max result d p i j two, and then we should compare the anti diagonal j plus one. Three. Uh, if the current index is i j, the previous point in the same anti diagonal should be i plus one. Oh, sorry, i minus one, j plus one. So basically, in this case, should be i, and the colon should be j plus two, and that will be three <coughs> plus one. We update uh update the result. Result and d p i plus one. J plus one, three. Uh, so finally, we just return this result. Mm. Something is wrong. Let's think about it. What's wrong? If current equal to one, yes, we the current zero uh, mm, will be. Previous, this is horizontal, so the same row. Ah, this place, it should be the current, not the previous uh, value. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.